Okay, welcome to this tip and trick. We are going to show you the 3D, 3D tick box inside the beam system dialog box. With this tick box, we can adjust the height of the supports either side of the beam system, which will automatically move the elevation or change the angle even of the, uh, the beam system. So in this tip and trick, we're going to show you how to do this. The prerequisite to this tip and trick is that you know or understand how to use a beam system. So I'm going to add a beam system to our simple frame here. So I'm going to click on beam system and you'll see that I'm presented with some series of choices. So the first thing I can do is change the beam type. So I'm going to use a 12776. I'm going to justify it from the center and I'm going to use the fixed distance layout of every 500 mil. And here you'll notice the 3D tick box. So you can see as I tick it, it also highlights the wall defined slope. So again, it's giving me more control. If I drop these beam systems into the, uh, the system, and we look at this in three dimension, you will see that it's added the beams for me. However, if I now grab one of the supports, so I'm gonna pick the support here, I'm gonna adjust this value here, which is the end elevation. So I'm gonna say, give it an offset of 500. This will now move the beam up, but it also takes any corresponding supports with it. So again, if I move this one up 500, you can see it's a very quick and easy way to produce a sloped roof. Now, like I say, this will only work with a three-dimensional tick box. If that is turned off, then they will not move with it. Hopefully this has been a useful tip. It's a very quick one, but it's a question we get asked a lot on our support desk. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you next time.